Hi everyone, it's Aaron here from Revlant Trading. Uh, just want to give you a few pointers about how to use Revlant DVS as a new user and how to set up your workspace quickly. So to start off, we've got a couple of indicators on the chart, the profile foundation and the profile panel, which is optional, but you can also have multiple of them and uh, it's quite useful. So we're going to go in and add a new profile zone. You can do that from here, or if you add a hotkey, which you can do in Ninja Trader under the Tools menu, then you can just use the keyboard to add it. So there you go. That's your first manual zone, all created, uh, and it stays where it is, which is useful for some things, but not for others. So usually you'll want to create a more dynamic zone. So the easiest way to get to a dynamic zone is to click this button on the menu, which instantly gives us an edge to edge screen zone. So the right edge is locked to the edge of the screen and the left edge is locked to the edge of the screen, meaning as you scroll around, it's fully dynamic with whatever is within your screen at that time. So if we double click and go into zone definition, you can see right edge, screen edge, left edge, screen edge, which is useful for various things. And combining different options for these gives you quite a lot of powerful ways of looking at things. So we could set the right edge to always be at the latest bar and the left edge to be three days ago from the latest bar. And now you'll notice when we scroll back, this doesn't change because the right edge is locked to the latest bar and the left edge is at the start bar. So we'll use this to begin setting up a layout that we could use every single day. So once you've got a zone defined that you like, you really want to be able to reuse that zone across different charts. So what we can do is use Ninja Traders templates. We go in and we can save a template with our name, which will have all the properties saved with it. And you know, we could create a new zone on any other chart and load up that template. However, that's still a bit of a pain if you want to switch between different instruments. So what we can do instead, if we go into the profile foundation, there's this section auto zones where you can paste as many templates as you want and get it to auto load them. Now we have two, one that I drew and one that has been auto-loaded. So if I go into drawing objects, you can see the one with the name of the template has been auto-loaded and the one that I drew manually is there. So I'll just remove that. So now if I was to switch to a different contract, I get this zone with all the same settings loaded up automatically. Everything's the same. Let's go to BS. But one thing that's interesting to note, when we're looking at NQ, NQ has all picks to a point, but fairly sparsely populated. So if we were to actually look at every level,
here at profile resolution takes. So it's set to zero at the moment, which means user mapping, which we'll get to in a moment. If I show you it with the lowest number of takes, it's actually a lot more jagged, which you might want to look at, but really often not that much point in seeing it like that. And so within here, what we've got is mappings for as many, well, you can add whatever product you want in there and set up how many ticks you want to aggregate to. So that means when you switch to different instruments, it automatically switches the aggregation as well. So yes, we're on one tick, makes sense. NQ is actually aggregated to four ticks for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create another zone, round out this layout a bit. So I actually want this to be green age two days ago. And I'm going to change the positioning. So instead of having the zone profile on the right, put it on the screen left. Now we're actually showing the summary row for both of these and they're both set to the bottom. So in fact, they're both down here. change that, add another panel and move it to the top, or in this case, turn off the summary row. And by default, these are both drawing the bars as well, which probably isn't wanted. So I'm gonna turn off the bar profile and the bar stack. So now this one's drawing the bars and I've got the zones on both. So just to run through a few of the menu options here, Vibs and VWAP, uh, BP, so that's the bar profile that we're just talking about, um, bar delta style, bar volume style, bar stack, uh, bar value area, bar point of control, uh, zone profile, so turn that on and off, and the zone stack toggles through various different settings for it. Um, so I want to switch around a bit. Delta. So there we go, everything pointing to the right. So we now go in and save this. Once again, I've got the one I drew and the one that's been auto-loaded. Remove that. And now, when I switch to any other chart, we automatically get the whole layout loaded. So. You have quite a lot of options about what you can actually set up and how you want it to look. Um, one other thing I should show when we're showing this zone to the left is 
go into the profile panel and set it to be scale justification to the left. It's actually utilized a bit of extra space here so get to see some info down here so if you want things on the left it's quite a nice way of looking at them uh, another little tip here with general ninja trader drawing tools they can often be out of z order and you want some things in front of others so if you click on it left shift key and the mouse scroll wheel you can bring things to the front or send them to the back comes in handy at times so just a couple more bits before wrapping up uh, currently by default we're looking at the volume and delta in the zone as the caption title but what we can do is change that to the description and it auto sets it so it's a three day zone so it puts that on or I type whatever I want and name it. Um, remember that if this is an auto zone, it's being loaded by a template. After you've made any changes, you want to go in and look in the background, you can see the right one. Just overwrite that and then you'll maintain your change your changes as you load up. Um, these buttons down here, if you want to get rid of menus entirely, like that. If you need to reload all your tick data, you can click that one. And this one pauses and resumes the profile build on a, an individual candle. So if you had a one minute chart or lower, you might want to keep the profile just building up and down here while new bars form and continue on and then resume it at a later point or restart. But I'll do another video on that to dig into it. Um, one last tip I think would be using the Alt and up and down arrows. You get to shrink and expand the candle width. So you wanna make sure you're using the whole space up. Um, then when you're expanding, if you're looking for your bar stack, that will pop in at a certain point. And there are some settings where you can alter how quickly that pops in. Okay, I'll leave it there. There will be more videos coming soon. And if you want to see more, go to revlant.com. Thanks, everyone.